Do you ever ponder the emotions that swirl around when a familiar face suddenly vanishes without a trace? Picture this scenario. The calendar reads April 27th, 2010. Within the pulse of Xinhua village cradled in China's Heilongjiang province, a battalion of construction workers are enjoying their lunch break. The day progresses ordinarily until an unsettling silence descends. The canteen, typically bustling during the midday respite, is eerily quiet. The cook, a 65-year-old man named Liu Xiaoyun, or as he was fondly referred to, Liu Boss, is conspicuously absent. The workers' hunger pangs intensify, their patience dwindles. The day wears on and Liu Boss still remains missing. Their annoyance quickly morphs into anxiety. One of the workers decides to investigate, taking the initiative to search for Xiu Yun at his residence. As he nears the house, he spots an abnormality. The front door is left ajar, silently beckoning him into the tranquility of the house. The interior is dimly lit, with the lights casting long, sinister shadows in the lifeless rooms. His calls for Xiu Yun reverberate through the vacant spaces, met only with silence. A shiver runs down his spine as he realizes that Liu Xiaoyun, the cook they were waiting for, the man they had interacted with just hours earlier, had vanished. The worker departs, his hands as void as the house he had just exited. Annoyance among the workers turns into outrage. They were famished and their cook had disappeared. Xiaoyun, the man who had been living alone for two decades after a divorce, had disappeared while his first job in a long time? Amidst the rising irritation, a sense of discomfort lingered. Some workers found Xiu Yun's abrupt disappearance strange. It was his first stable job in years. Why would he desert it so swiftly? Speculations abounded, but the answers were nowhere in sight. They had no clue that this was merely the commencement of a mystery that would leave them all baffled. Who was Liu Xiu Yun, the man who seemingly evaporated into the ether? Liu Xiaoyun, at the age of 65, had been living a life of seclusion for the prior two decades. His life had taken a lonely turn after a divorce had left him abandoned, and finding work in the village was an uphill task due to his advancing age. This resulted in a long period of unemployment for Xiaoyun. However, a glimmer of hope sparked when he was chosen to be the cook for the community's construction workers. He took this chance with open arms. This job was his lifeline, a golden opportunity to bring back some normalcy to his life. His first day at work was the 24th of April, and it was puzzling why he would discard this new beginning so swiftly. While most of the villagers were irate about their delayed meal rather than concerned for Xiu Yun, some did find his sudden absence peculiar. Included in these concerned few was Liu Laoliu, Xiu Yun's younger sibling. When he heard about his brother's unaccountable absence, Lao Liu started to worry. He undertook a search mission for Xiu Yun, checking all the usual spots his brother frequented. He spent the entire afternoon trying to find him. Unfortunately, his attempts proved futile. There was no trace of Xiu Yun in the village. With a heavy heart and growing anxiety, Lao Liu chose to call the authorities. He was hopeful that the police could provide some insights into his brother's location. However, their lack of zeal was disappointing. The law enforcement took Xu Yun's disappearance lightly, showing scant interest in the case. One of the workers ventured to Xu Yun's residence and found the front door partially open. He called out to him multiple times, but there was no response. He then decided to enter Xu Yun's home and looked around. Despite the lights being on, the house was vacant, so he left without any leads. A majority of the workers were more annoyed about their hunger rather than worrying about Xiu Yun's safety. Twenty years earlier, Xiu Yun had faced divorce and been dwelling alone since then. As dusk fell, a worried Lao Liu approached the police station to report his brother's disappearance. Just when the villagers thought they had seen the worst, another shock was waiting for them. On April 29th, some villagers needed to speak with Liu Lao Liu about something. They arrived at his home only to find a chillingly familiar scene. The front door was ajar, the lights were on, no one was home. A sense of deja vu washed over them as they called out for Lao Liu but received no response. They tried reaching out to him on his cell phone but it was turned off. It was peculiar, as Lao Liu was known to always be reachable. He was a man who was always connected, always available. His cell phone being off was out of character, raising the villagers' concern. 
After a brief and futile search for him, his family was contacted and informed about his unexplained absence. Shockwaves threw the village as the news of Lao Liu's disappearance spread. The police, already unenthusiastic about Xu Yun's case, were completely taken aback when Lao Liu's family walked in to report him missing. It was almost surreal as the last known contact Lao Liu had was with the police themselves when he reported his brother missing. This second disappearance was far more suspicious. Couldn't be brushed off as a mere coincidence. While most didn't seem to care too much for Xiu Yun's disappearance, there were still a select few who found it odd. Xiu Yun, for a long time, had been unemployed, and many employers in the village were willing to hire him at his age. And when he finally was hired to be a cook for the construction workers, it was a very recent hire, in fact, his first day on the job was April 24th. So it seemed odd that he would abandon his first real job in a long time so quickly. But Laoliu's disappearance, happening only five days after Xiun started his new job, was a different ball game. It was a jolt that finally spurred the into action. The local police found themselves in the midst of a double disappearance mystery. They realized the gravity of the situation and called for assistance from neighboring villages, hoping to form a task force dedicated solely to investigating this case. The same village that was once their home was the epicenter of a double disappearance mystery. The once peaceful and ordinary village of Xinghua was now cloaked in an eerie silence, its tranquility disrupted by the baffling vanishing of the Liu brothers. The villagers were left in a state of anxiety, wondering what happened to their fellow villagers and what could possibly happen next. What transpires when two siblings from the same hamlet simply vanish within a span of days? This was the predicament confronting the Xinghua village authorities in China when Liu Xiaoyun and his sibling Liu Lao Liu suddenly went missing without a trace. Xiu Yun, a 65-year-old chef who had recently embarked on a new job, was the first to disappear. Merely two days later, his younger brother, Lao Liu, also mysteriously disappeared. The police, initially to Xiu Yun's case, were stirred into action by Lao Liu's disappearance. It was one thing for a solitary, unemployed man to vanish, but quite another for his sociable and active brother to do the same. Recognizing that they couldn't tackle this alone, local law enforcement enlisted help from neighboring villages, forming a dedicated task force. The mission this group established on May 7th was straightforward, to unravel the enigma surrounding the Liu brothers' sudden disappearances. Both siblings led contrasting lifestyles with Xiu Yun's solitary existence offering few leads, while Lao Liu's active social life provided several potential leads due to his extensive network and frequent mobile usage. As the task delved deeper into their lives, they began to unravel a complicated network of relationships and events, each potentially holding the key to the brothers' whereabouts. It was then that someone approached the family about the brothers, and Lao Liu was the first to hear about Xiu Yun's disappearance. Lao Liu initiated a search for Xiu Yun in his known hangouts, but returned empty-handed after an afternoon of searching. He then went to the police station to report his brother's disappearance. With the investigation underway, the village held its breath, anxiously waiting for answers. When two brothers disappear without a trace, the only thing left behind are questions. We find ourselves entangled in the eerie mysteries surrounding the disappearances of Liu Xuyun and his brother Liu Lao Liu, a story teeming with unanswered questions. The police got Lao Liu's phone records and bills. They saw he called many people until the day he disappeared when the calls suddenly stopped. This made them think he didn't plan to be gone long. And something bad happened suddenly. The police found a number in Lao Liu's phone that caught their eye. He called this number twice on the day he went missing. It belonged to Su Hong, a 40-year-old doctor who ran the village clinic. Su Hong was married, but not happily. She moved back to her deceased parents' home nine years ago. She lived alone there except on weekdays when her four children stayed with her. When the police questioned her, she said she borrowed money from Lao Liu and another person to pay for her sick children's treatment. She claimed she paid the money back. Other villagers confirmed she borrowed money but said she was a good person. She told the police she called Lao Liu to return the money, and he left after that. The police searched for Lao Liu and any signs of trouble in the village but found nothing. Then, Lao Liu's sister received a text message from him, admitting to killing someone. The police searched Lao Liu's and Su Hong's homes but found no evidence of a fight or blood. 
The police doubted the text message was really from Laoliu. It was too well written compared to his usual messages. When they called the number, no one answered. The phone only sent that one text message between April 30th and May 10th. For a week, the phone sent the same message multiple times. It didn't provide any new information. The police suspected Su Hong again, when one of Lao Liu's brothers said he once told him Su Hong might harm him. When the police returned to Su Hong's home, she panicked when they asked about a cellar. They found a hidden cellar entrance and discovered two bodies inside wrapped in sheets. Su Hong was arrested, and she confessed to killing the two brothers. Later, while searching the cellar, the police found another skeleton. It belonged to Su Hong's sister-in-law, whom she also confessed to killing. Su Hong's troubled life played a big part in these murders. She had a tough marriage and faced many challenges. She killed her sister-in-law because of an argument, and disposed of her body in the cellar. Su Hong was sentenced to death and executed in 2012. She showed no remorse for her crimes and only worried about her children's future.